Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the left bit shift operator and we're going to see how we can pack a bunch of color values into a 32 bit int. So, um, we, we want to be able to specify uh, red, green, blue, and alpha values as hexadecimal values in unsigned chars because their, their values, the values of our red, green, and blue, range from 0 to 255 which is 0 to FF in hex. But to actually set the values of pixels on the screen, we need a unsigned integer color. That's a 32-bit value on most platforms, in other words, four bytes. And we want to put the alpha value in one of those bytes, the red in another byte, blue in another, and green in another. So the exact order of these is going to, it depends on what API you're using. Uh, and um, that they can also be the other way around. But just for a demonstration here, let's let's imagine that we want to put the alpha in the first, the leftmost byte of this integer, and um, f that followed by red and followed by blue and green. So um, if we've got values FF and one, two, three, four, five, six, I've just given these uh, easily distinguishable values. We want the resulting hexadecimal value to look like this. So because it's in hex, and because um, two digits in hex corresponds to one byte, then we can easily see the, um, these values in the final integer. That's the advantage of using hex. You've got that one-to-one -one correspondence between two digits in hex and a byte. So we, we want the alpha value to be here, and then the red value, and then the green value, and finally the blue value. How can we accomplish that? Well, we've got this unsigned int color here. Let's start by setting it initially equal to alpha. We want to output this. Uh, to, we want it to look something like that. Let's use see out here and color endler. And if we if we run this, the first problem we find is that um, I'm not sure what these those errors are, but um, they sort of disappear. And um, yeah, we've got some unused unused variable warnings, and um, that's fine, I haven't used them yet. So when, when we look at it, it's in uh, decimal. So I'm going to use iomanip. Let's include iomanip. And this allows us to manipulate the output a bit. So one thing I can do is type hex here. And this, um, this object, or flag, whatever it is, that's going to tell Cout to display subsequent values in hex. So if I run this now, we get a hex value. Now I'd like to see the whole whole thing. I'd like to see um, we've got an eight-digit uh, unsigned int here. Eight, eight digits corresponds to the 32 bits. Eight digits in hex corresponds to four bytes or 32 bits. So I'd like to see this left padded with zeros um, because just just as in decimal, we can left pad a number by zeros and it makes no difference to the value. So to do that, um, we can set the width here. Let's say set were, set width, and set it to eight. Um, actually, that's, yes, I think that's right. So we want to set it to eight digits. If we run this now, uh, now we can see that it's, the width is set to eight digits, but it's padded with blanks. Uh, so what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to say set fill and set the fill character uh, for, the, for the extra values in the width here to, the, to zero. And if we run this now, we see that we've got a um, hexadecimal integer formatted as we like. So we can see that the, these rightmost values, the least significant uh, bit here, the least significant byte, I should say, are set to FF, and the others are still zero. Now what we can do is we can use the left bit shift operator, let's say color, equals color left shift by eight bits. So what this does is simply to move the bits to the left and right pad with zeros. So by, by doing this, we're gonna move all the values in the color left by eight bits, which is one byte, which remember corresponds to uh, two digits in here if we use hexadecimal. So any, any values that were on the right here would simply drop off, sorry, on the left would simply drop off the end and um, would, would pad with zeros. And the FF is gonna move along 
two, um, two places, which corresponds to one byte. So let's run this, save it first. And now we can see that we've got the um, alpha value there shifted um, a bit closer to where we want it. Let's move it by three bytes, which is uh, 24, 24 bits. So now we've got it into the right position there. Well, but what we can actually do is uh, we can build this up as we go along. So let's add the alpha and then shift it. Um, in, in fact, rather than use this syntax, uh, in the same way that we, we, we wouldn't want to say color equals color plus five or whatever, we would want to say color uh, plus equals five. We can also do um, equals shift. And that's, that means the same as what we had previously. So um, that's actually not right. We really want to say shift equals. Okay, let's do that. Shift equals just like plus equals. So if we run this now, we can see we had the same result as before. It's shifting the color left by eight bits and then storing it back in color. We can then, um, we can then uh, let, let's set this equal to zero to start with. And then let's say color plus equals alpha and then shift equals by a byte. Then we can say color and we can add on the, uh, the next value, which is red here. And, and when we add it, it's going to fill this empty space on the, on the right. Let's say red. Let's take a look at how that looks. So now we've got red um, after the alpha value. And of course, we can shift it again by another byte and then add on green. So now we should have the green value as well in the right place. And finally, we want to shift it again by another byte and add on the blue value. So color plus equals blue. So if we look at this now, we've got exactly what we wanted, which is, which is this. We've got FF, one, two, five, six, three, four. <laughs> I think I've got them slightly in the wrong color, red, blue, green. Yeah, well, we should have red, green, blue. So um, let's, Let's um, declare them in the, in the other order, although it doesn't actually matter. And um, let's set green to three, four, blue to five, six. And um, then we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, FF one, two, three, four, five, six, which is exactly what we want. So um, the, the bit shift operator, left bit shift is, uh, it's not used all the time in C++, but it is very useful for some tasks, particularly because in C++, um, you, you often, it's kind of a low level language where you often want to shift bits and bytes around like this. And there's also a right bit shift operator that shifts the bits to the right as well. So we'll leave it there for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we'll um, look at using this to set pixel values. So until next time, happy coding. <laughs>